I'm in the palm grove at the Royal Botanic Garden, Sydney, and though, although this plant's leaves might look a little bit like a palm, it's actually a cycad. It's known as the pineapple cycad or Lepidosamia perovskiana. It does come from Australia. It grows on the east coast between northern New South Wales and southern Queensland. Its species, epithet perovskiana, refers to a count in Russia who is a patron of the St. Petersburg Botanic Garden and the type specimen for this plant is held at St. Petersburg Botanic Garden in Russia. It's an amazing plant. It can grow to about seven meters tall. It's one of the largest cycads in Australia and it has separate male and female plants. So that means it's dioecious. I'm standing here though with a female plant and you can see this enormous cone coming out of the top of the cordex or trunk of this cycad. Now it's made up of these scale-like structures called sporophylls. They have seeds inside between one and three seeds and they're covered in a red exocarp. Now the seeds are poisonous and the seeds only occur if pollen gets from the male plant to the female plant and there's a wonderful story about how that happens and it's a small insect called a trains weevil which looks a little bit like the insect version of an elephant with its long snout at the top of its body. Now the male cones are a little bit thinner than the female cones and a little bit smaller. Now as they start to mature and produce their pollen, they produce the smell that attracts the weevils. The weevils come there looking for food, but they're also going to live out their life cycle in that cone. So they mate and breed and they feed on the sporophylls and they feed on the pollen. Now for a short period of time, the female cone produces a similar smell and all of the trains weevils or many of them fly across to the female cone. They're covered in pollen all over their bodies. They're attracted by the smell. There's not the same food for them on the female cone, but as they move into the sporophylls here on the cone, they leave behind pollen and pollination then can take place. They'll then go back to the male cone. Many of them will have stayed on the male cone and the male cone gets eaten by the train's weevil. So it breaks down quite quickly. It's a beautiful structure, the male cone, and it opens in a lovely spiraling pattern. The female cone then stays on the plant for many weeks and months. Eventually it will break open, dropping hundreds of sporophylls to the ground and seeds can germinate relatively easily. Remember though, those bright reddy structures you see on the ground are actually poisonous. This is Lepidosamia perovskiana. You can find it in a palm grove and it grows in the rainforests of northern New South Wales and southern Queensland.